Hello, and welcome to another video. Today, even for me, we're going to make for the first time some cherry mead. Like I said, first time for me, we'll see how this goes. This is an easy three ingredient recipe. Everything here has been sanitized. So that just means there's a non rinse sanitizer, San Ease, that I use to make sure everything's sanitized and clean. Okay, so first, we need that. A one gallon carboy jug, whatever you want to call it. You could use buckets they make for the, this too. I like the glass. First thing, let's get the honey in there. It calls for about one pound of honey. I've got this on a scale. Let's go ahead and put it in. We'll set that off the side so I can wipe it off later. Okay. I'll let you watch that go as I go wipe that off and wash my hands. Okay, we can take that off the scale. Good to go. Next ingredient. Tart cherry juice. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this, and then we're going to add the third ingredient, which is yeast. And now the yeast. I'm using Lavalin brand K1 V1116. I know, blah, 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 blah. This is just made more for mead or wine making. And for this amount, we want to put about half the package in. We'll be putting more down here. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour it right through there. Okay, that's about half the package. There we go, that's about half the package. Now you fold it up. And you put that in the fridge. And you can save it for later. Okay, let's put the trash off the side. And now we'll get this in with a little bit of mead magic. And done, just like that. Okay, you wanna make sure that no matter what you do, you leave some head space. Cause you're gonna to wanna to kinda of turn this and shake it just a little bit as it's going. Next up is to put the plug in. This can be a little tricky. Cause sometimes they wanna kinda of work their way back out. So you wanna make sure to get it in there pretty good. Okay, and then this will let gases escape, but won't let bad stuff in. And I need to get a little bit of water in that first, so that, like I said, the gas can push out, but then bad things can't get in. And bam, just like that. See? Oh. Water in there. There we go, that'll work. Push it down in. Actually, I forgot a step. Pull that out. So whenever you're doing this, 
when you go to shake it, take that out, cover the hole, and shake. You might even want to take everything out, this topper out, and put an actual cap on it so you can shake it vigorously. Now let's put it in. Okay. All set. Now, it's a waiting game. You just let this go and you let it sit in a cool dark place and check on it once a week or so and I'll bring you an update on it. So this one will be part one. So, once this actually starts to turn, then you'll pour it off and you may even want to let it go again. You'll get solids out, whatnot. Um, we'll step more through that once we get to it. So let me get this in a dark place, and maybe in two months or so, we'll see an update. All right, thanks for joining me on this one. We'll see you next time.